New revelations about the underwater implosion of the Titan submersible. Yeah, we're learning more about the safety concerns before that doomed voyage. Here's ABC's Lionel Moyes. A Coast Guard hearing is shedding new light on the Titan submersible disaster that killed five people last summer. Investigators sharing this photo showing the vessel at the bottom of the ocean and engineers now describing the working conditions at Ocean Gate, which made the Titan. Did you feel a sense of uh, urgency or being rushed to get to operations, to start operations? Was there pressure? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Investigators trying to piece together what went wrong two miles underwater. The crew was in touch with their support ship via text message. One of their last communications, all good here. Half an hour later, they texted, dropped to wait, a sign of crisis, meant to bring the Titan back to the surface. The hearing revealing problems with the vessel. There were reportedly more than 100 equipment issues in recent years. The Titan was never pressure tested to industry standards and even partially sunk four weeks before the doom mission. Ocean Gate's former top engineer also claims he didn't initially know their mission was to reach the Titanic site. And why did you depart the company? Got fired. When did you get fired? June 2019. Because I wouldn't let him go to the Titanic. He also spoke about clashing with Ocean Gate CEO who died in the implosion. He asked me, he wanted me to be the pilot that runs the um, Titanic missions. And I told him I'm not getting in it. Other employees expressed concerns, saying teenagers were also working on the Titan without supervision. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.